SmartC taking you through setting up a company logo for our banner image for our site but also for the purpose of uh, the assessment task. So if I go back to the assessment task it's asked us to design a logo for the retail outlet which will be used on the business card but it will also be used on our ePortfolio site. So I'm going to introduce you to a tool that I find very useful. Um, it's a Chrome web app. So we go up into apps up here and we go to the Chrome store. And the tool I'll be using today is Sumo Paint. So you just in the search bar of the Chrome Web Store there, type in Sumo Paint. You can see that it says rated for me because I've already added Sumo Paint. So once you add Sumo Paint to your Chrome Web Store, then it's just a matter of obviously navigating to that. So I'm just going to close that just so you can see what that looks like. Go to Apps and right down the end here is Sumo Paint. I'll open now. Now for those of you who have used Photoshop before this is a Photoshop equivalent. There are many features that um, Photoshop has that Sumo Paint have essentially replicated in a cloud based platform. So that's pretty cool. Um, just uh, one of the downfalls is the advertising around the outside but if you can sort of overlook that I think it's uh, well worth uh, using this particular tool because it is free. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, an image which will essentially be our logo for our retail store. So I'm going to go to File, New Image and I'm going to create an image I'm going to call it Phony Accessories Logo. Um, we're going to go with a uh, four, 400 by 300 uh, pixel image so you can see the pixel size there you can actually change that via the slider but I'm just going to go with the 400 by pic 300 pixels at the moment I'm actually going to go with a transparent background and I'll explain how that's useful in a moment so I just hit OK and you can see that it creates a canvas for which the background layer is transparent. Now the beauty of a transparent layer is that if I save this as a particular file type, namely a PNG file, when I insert this in my Google site, whatever background I have chosen for my Google site, whether it be black or you know gradient blue or whatever, the, um, the, the, the background of the image will be transparent. So um, you know, I will see the background of my site rather than a white background of the image. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my business logo here. And um, rather than spending too much time showing you the intricacies of um, Sumo Paint, I'm just going to go to an old favorite of mine called Flaming Text. Now, Flaming Text is a pretty cool site whereby I can um, literally create uh, customized text fairly quickly. So if I scroll down here, hopefully you can see the different logos that uh, I can use. So these are all different types of text that I can choose. So I'm just going to scratch through here and come up with a uh, one that suits my purpose, namely, okay, Warroom. I like that, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to select that, and you can see it's just a matter of typing in your name of your business. So I'm going to go with Phony Accessories. My retail outlet is going to be one of those outlets that sells uh, mobile phone accessories. And we'll talk more about the, the name a bit later on because, you know, maybe that's not a great business name because of the implication around phony, but um, that's discussions for another time. So you can see the, um, the font size. I can control that there. So I can make that smaller, make it larger. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to go to background. Again, I can make it transparent. So you can see that it has that checkerboard background as well. I'm now going to create my logo. And it's for personal use, academic purposes, you can see there. So it's free for academic purposes. And I'm now going to hit download. So it will go into your downloads folder, comes down as a cool logo PNG. Okay, so that's a really quick and efficient way of creating some nice text that potentially otherwise in an image editor like Sumo Paint would take a fair while to conjure up. So now I'm coming back to my canvas here and I'm going to go to the file. I'm going to import to a layer from my computer. So you recall that our background layer is there, and I now have a cool logo that I have downloaded here. So if I scroll down here and go to my image, not that one, there it is there, hit OK. And you can see that it's come in, and if I go down to my layers here, you can see it's come in as a layer right there. Now you can see it's sort of gone off my uh, page there, or off my grid. So one of the um, tools that I can use is to free transform that. So you, when you free transform something, it will actually, if you hold down the shift key, proportionally stay the same size and I can sort of move that around and that's going to be my business name. And I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. Okay, so you can see it's on that um, transparent background. So phony accessories, when you're done, you just hit apply transformation. So at the moment I've got my layer there with text on it. You can even come down to layer one and call it text. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, pull in some photos from Google Image Search. And just a word of warning, we should always use ethical protocols when using images. So if I do a image search for um, phones, because I'm selling phones, um, you can see here there's a whole lot of images around the use of mobile phones there. If I go to search tools, however, and go to usage rights, I want to um, use images that are labeled for reuse with modification. Okay, so after some deliberation there, I found a um, I found an image that I'm going to go with. So I'm going to go with this image. So you can see it's labeled for reuse. And if I view the image, creates it shows a mobile phone accessories there. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to copy that hyperlink there. So Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a PC. Jump back to my Sumo Paint here. And I'm now going to import to a layer from a URL. Okay, so I'm going to paste it in here and it's going to upload that image for me. Now you can see it's actually coming and it's quite large. It's a fairly large image. So again I'm going to my free transform tool and if I zoom in up here So I zoomed right into 6% on the image and you can see the, the image is very, very large. So I'm just going to hold the shift key down and bring the image right in. If I now zoom out a bit, okay, there we go, that's a bit better. So once I pull the transformation in, you can see I can position that image. And with that transformation, should I wish, I can also play around with the skew. And once I'm happy with it, hit apply transformation. 
Now, you'll see here that it's put that on a layer there. So I might call this image. And what I can do is play around with the effects there and put things like a drop shadow on that image. Which you won't be able to see because it's sort of facing the other way. But um, there's a whole lot of other image tools that you could apply to that particular image there. Okay, so you can see it's wiped out my text there. That's just basically a ordering thing. So I can drag my um, text above that image and I'm pretty happy with that. There's my logo. All right, so let me just save that now. So I'm going to file, I'm going to save to my computer and I'm not saving it as a sumo paint file, I'm going to save it as a ping. If you save it as a sumo paint file, it will actually remember all of the layers here. So if you were coming back to this and wanting to re-edit it, you would save it as a sumo paint file, but uh, for this point in time I'll just save it as a ping. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And once that's saved, then what I can do is come back to my site. It's asking for my company logo, so I'm literally just editing the page, going into my company logo, inserting an image, I'm going to upload an image, and it's called my Fermi logo. Choose OK, and that's going to place that image under that heading there, which is one of the learning tasks that I'm asked to do. Okay, so you can see that the image has come in. I hit save, and there we have it. There's my image. You can see the drop shadow that I've applied there. That sort of works okay. So that's our company logo. Um, the next video will take you through how we could make that a banner image for our site.